Is Henry's hard sparkling water worth your consideration? Find out next on njroute22.com. Hey there, njroute22.com here with another quick vlog review of alcohol. And today's review is about Henry's hard sparkling water. This is something we picked up recently. Oh, in case you're wondering, we like uh, the hard sparkling waters, spiked sparkling seltzers, whatever you want to call them, because they're low carb. And most of them are. Uh, I mean, I guess they all are, but some are much lower than others. And for the record, our gold standard is the Smirnoff Spiked Sparkling Seltzer because they have probably the lowest carbs and we think they're the best price and so on and so forth. And I think they're pretty much uh, better tasting as well. So we found this Henry Spark, uh, Hard Sparkling Water at the store, knew nothing about it. Didn't know who will really own this uh, company, if it's like a craft brewery or not. It says the Blitz Weinhard Brewing Company, and that's, uh, they used to make beer, I guess, like for over a hundred years. But, but when you look, and, well anyway, it's 88 calories, we don't care about calories. It says no sugar. Uh, they had other versions of this at some point in time that had corn syrup in it. And they really don't list their uh, ingredients on the can. I have a can here. Uh, it doesn't even list the ingredients. Uh, they did have corn syrup in, in the past, but they reformulated and have new fancy packaging that's probably meant to uh, kind of like stun you into, into wanting to buy it. But we picked it up because the store we went to, I forget where it was, did not have the Smirnoff. And I said, let, let me give this a shot. I think it was uh, comparatively priced, maybe like eight or nine bucks, uh, maybe even eight, nine fifty for a six pack, which is good. It's a lot better than the Crook and Marker, um, whatever that super flavorful seltzer was. It was like nine bucks for a four pack and only 4% alcohol. This is 4.2% alcohol, which is lower than the, the, what do you call it? The Smirnoff, which is four and a half. And then of course, there's uh, the White Claw, which is 5%. Um, and by the way, we taste these things. We, our normal way of drinking is watering it down 50-50 with a non-alcoholic seltzer and some ice, lemon juice, and a, and a ginger capsule that I get at the vitamin store or supermarket. This is the way we like drinking it. Throttled drinking and and it just goes a long way. It's, it's, but one of the things it does, we don't like the way this, this passion fruit flavor tastes out of the can. It tastes like a really bad mixed drink of some kind. Um, I, I didn't like the alcohol uh, approach, as they would say, maybe in the wine industry and, and the, the finish and all this other stuff. It didn't taste good. It tasted uh, like I was drinking some sort of like lawnmower additive. I, I was not happy with the way this tastes. Uh, but since we diluted and add other ingredients, um, it, it came out better. Now I'm not saying this is a bad thing because it is fairly priced. It is 1.6 grams of carbs, they say, which is good. Smirnoff is one. I mean, I, I don't know, we're, we're splitting hairs here maybe. But if you're gonna drink 12 of them, you're, you're gonna get an extra maybe 12 grams of carbs, which we don't like to do. So we tried this because Smirnoff is not available. I like buying the variety packs. It's the best value, especially when you buy a case. You get them pretty, pretty darn cheap. Um, we're sampling the other brands for, for one main purpose, and that purpose is to have a backup in case we can't find our, say it's 10 minutes before closing time and you have to pick a spiked sparkling seltzer of some kind, you gotta have options. And by trying this out, we now have an option. Just a real quick thing, this is this Henry Blitz Weinhardt Brewing Company and Henry's, there's nothing really organic about it. It's part of us like an eight or eight billion dollar company. Miller's Coors, uh, corp, multinational corporation owns this this brand. This is part of you know Coors Light. The same people that I think this is made in Fort Worth, Texas, and they make other 
crap beer there, you know. This is not anything made by a guy in his garage or some passionate person. This is just a brand, a money-making brand. So keep that in mind. This is Coors or Miller owns this, this company. So that's something to, to note, even though it has all this fancy graphics. Graphics are crap. This is just emotional kind of uh, marketing and so on. It, it's, it's a Miller Coors company. Um, however, that said, it's, it's not bad. And if a place that we go to doesn't have Smirnoff Spiked Sparkling Seltzer, we, and they do have this, we'll pick it up in, in a pinch. But it's not going to be in our regular rotation other than as a in utility form. You know, worst case scenario. So it's good to know that there is a backup to Smirnoff. I don't necessarily enjoy it. I don't know how I'm going to feel tomorrow. Um, but it's a, it, it's a decent buzz. It's not as weird as that buzz from the Crook and Marker, which I don't think I'm going to buy again. Although I may get coerced. There's a flavor out there. The, the flavor, I'm telling you, the flavor on those things is way different than these. This is more of an adult flavor, whereas the Crook and Marker was more of a girly kid flavor. Um, but that's it. I, I don't really have, I'm rambling on here, but this, this is a good uh, backup if you can't get the smear off. And that's it. Have a nice week.